are at the home of Sarah Moulton, and today we are talking about her new book, Home Cooking 101. Thanks, first of all, so much for having me here. Well, thank you for coming. It's such a pleasure to be here, and it's so apropos because this book is really all about the home cooks. Right, and it was all tested here, in this, in this kitchen. kitchen. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the idea for this book, because, you know, your books have all been you know, aimed at the home cook, but this one is really about like mastering the basics. Mostly, it's firmly targeted on the home cook and making you just a better cook mm -hmm. so that every meal you make tastes better. Right, and I think what's interesting about this book is you're not afraid to say the basics are important and don't be embarrassed. I try to get them to just think more. The idea being that if you cook, I have lots of very specific how-tos, but also the every single recipe I believe if you make it, you'll learn something. So if, they, if somebody cooked their way through this book, I think they'd come out and be a pretty good cook. Right, yeah. and it's about practice, but it's also about quick meals. You know, you have the quick and the quicker. You know, tell me a little bit about that part of the book because it's really sort of made for weeknights, for ease of Right, making. well, what I understood, uh, you know, for, when I, for all the years I've been on TV is that people like the idea of cooking, people like the idea of having a home cooked meal, but they just don't feel like they have the time. Right. So you have, you cannot ignore that. Um, and, and that is what I focused on up until now and that's why I have that chapter in there. And there's other recipes that take a little more time, but that chapter is for get it on the table. So the book is also not just recipes, you're really giving people a toolkit to kind of begin their entire experience. This is true. And so tell me a little bit about the first chapter of the book. First chapter is probably the most important. I start with like the Ten Commandments and it starts with get to know your stove yeah. and uh, how to build flavor, you know, how to balance things, how to use salt, when to use salt. Right. So key. You end up actually using less salt if you add it at the right time. Um, how to organize your cooking so that it's so much more streamlined. Um, how to attack a recipe. How to save food because we waste so much food. And what are some of the recipes in this book that you can't live without that you were testing and you were like, oh, this is a winner? Well, some of them surprised me. Uh, I did a beef stroganoff burger, which started out differently, but then just kept evolving, and it's really essence of mushroom. And I was like, wow, I love this, you know, because it's just... This is a um, I have another one. Um, it's just a very simple pasta dish where you make a sauce in the pan, and it's got cream in it, which I mostly don't do. I'm not a fattening cook, but that one's pretty darn killer. Right, and so you're going to make us a simple recipe that's like an easy weeknight meal that everyone will kind of start adding to their repertoire. What are we making today? We are making what's known as a souffle omelet. I'm doing a spin on it and calling a Greek diner omelet because in a Greek diner you, you know, you go in and get a spinach and feta omelet. But this one is magical because out of five egg whites, you make a meal for two people that's huge and fluffy. And it's so simple. You're gonna see when I do it. So here we are in my kitchen. I'm gonna start with the filling part of the omelet and it involves spinach. Don't we love the pre-washed spinach? I've got a bag here, about five ounces. And I'm just gonna saute it in a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I need to get this hot. And then we're gonna to top the spinach with the feta cheese. I'm gonna go put half of it in to begin with. Ah, uh, yes. All right, you want to season as you go. I'm going to add the other half of the spinach and season, because if you wait till the end, it tastes like a dish with salt and pepper on top. So you can see this is reduced down to basically nothing, and it's not wet, uh, which is we don't want it to be wet. We don't want a watery omelet. Sprinkle the feta on top and just park it. So that's our filling, and now I'm going to move on to the eggs. So when you crack an egg, you know, people have a tendency to crack it on the edge of something, which means it's, it's easier to break the yolk. So take a flat surface and crack the egg there. And then into your hand. And make sure you get all the white out of the uh, shells too. And you will be amazed at how much more of the white you get off of the yolk this way. There we go. Ah, clean whites go into that bowl. What I've gotten here are my three egg yolks and a tablespoon of water, a pinch of salt, and some pepper. Remember, season as you go. And I've beaten them for a couple of minutes. We want the egg yolk. This is our base for our, it's our souffle omelet. So this is the base. And then I'm going to add my secret ingredient, something I really love with eggs, which is 
freshly grated lemon rind. And I'm just gonna add it to my egg yolks, and then that is the base. So now we're gonna beat the whites, and we're gonna start sort of slow. All right, you can see how it's got nice and smooth. We're looking for soft peaks. So now what we do is I'm gonna take, oh, some of the eggs into my base, some of the egg whites into the base, and just stir it up. And now the rest of the egg whites go in, and I'm gonna fold them gently. Meanwhile, I've been heating up my pan with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. All right, and you don't wanna overfold it, just barely fold it. You took all this time to get all this volume. So I'm gonna add the whole thing and smooth it out. Ah, yes, you wanted to hear that sound. And now I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in my preheated 450 degree oven on the middle shelf and give it about three minutes or till it's puffed and golden. While it's heating the oven, I'm just gonna heat up my uh, filling here, spinach and feta to make sure it's, it's good and piping hot. All right, so there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm telling you, it's such a magic trick. So we're gonna put a little put a little indent in the center and bring our filling over to one side. And again, any filling you want, asparagus, boursin, you know, sauteed tomatoes, ham and cheddar, roasted red peppers, you know, um, smoked salmon, whatever, you know, you really are, would love to have. There we go. So now, you see it's essentially done, but I'm gonna put it back in just to melt it a little more so everything sort of comes together. So another couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. I'm gonna just cut half of this off, which is a portion. And then you just serve it with a nice salad or you know, quick side, vegetable side. And then I'm just gonna uh, garnish it with some dill. You could actually chop the dill, which would make a more meaningful flavor. So here you have it, my Greek diner souffle omelet from my new book, Home Cooking 101.